Well, in the industrial design courses, we have recently accepted what is called the 2010 Imperative. It's a nationwide effort um, to commit to adding a sustainability factor uh, to everything we do, to each project, uh, to each curriculum. And so we have accepted that challenge. And whether it's a drawing class, or a design studio class, or a design history class, um, the goal is to include um, a portion of sustainability into, into all those pieces, into all those courses. Um, um, I challenge the students with everything they design uh, and, and ask them what, they, what will happen to the product uh, when its useful life is over. You know, how will they deal with the final disposition of that iPod once the last tune is played? And um, they have to answer that in their final proposals and to think about um, how it might be uh, recycled, how it might be disassembled and the components reused in some way, um, or how that product can continue its life. I think one of the things that inspires the students also um, in the classroom is what we as professors do uh, in our professional activities or in our research. And, you know, I think as a student, I looked to my professors and, and, and wanted to know what their outside projects were. I wanted to know what they did as practicing designers. And the, one, the more they did, the more impressed I was. Um, so I do spend a lot of time, especially in the summers, um, creating art and I entirely focus on using industrial scrap, uh, waste, garbage uh, uh, as the materials for my art. And I have successfully been doing this since 1999. One of the primary products that I create are baskets made from recycled metal strapping. The strapping is used for uh, banding lumber or anything on a pallet or in a crate. Uh, comes strapped with either plastic or metal banding. I use the metal banding in its many widths and colors and, and, and weave it into these different receptacles and containers. Uh, and then I, I apply to different arts and crafts fairs in, in the West and, uh, and sell these to, to many people. Um, a woman came into my booth in Sun Valley, Idaho and was very excited. She saw there were bandsaw blades incorporated into the basket. And um, I didn't know who she was until she had left, but uh, Tom Hanks now owns one of my baskets purchased by his, his wife. 